year seven so in today's lesson since i am not with you unfortunately you won't be able to uh, practice painting techniques with warm and cool colors what you're going to do instead is use color pencils to experiment with different types of mark making instead so um first thing you need to do is write your name and your group name at the top for example uh, 7a6 or 7f2 and make sure you write your name as well so I know whose work it is. So what I'm going to do is keep my warm colours on the left and my cool colours on the right. And as you've already read on the PowerPoint, you must at least complete four boxes by the end of the lesson. Um, so I'm going to do four first and then move down. So I'm going to do my warm colours here, as I said, and I'm going to start by creating different marks first. And quite simple, just doing little dashes at an angle, a diagonal angle, and I'm filling most of the box. What you could do is in between you could add some yellow dashes or orange as well, just to show the different warm colours. Of course, if we were painting, you would be able to color mix as well. However, what you can do with the color pencils is just try to layer your colors so that you get an orange with the yellow and the red. Okay, moving on to the next box. I'm gonna continue with my warm color. And what I'm going to try and do is get quite a smooth blend from um, red to yellow. Oops, something behind my page here. So I'm keeping a consistent pressure on my pencil. And where those two colors meet, of course, it will look orange. Okay, I wanted to do most of the yellow first as the red is a bit darker and it will be easier to go over the yellow with the red rather than the other way around. Okay, and as you can see, where I want the colors to blend a bit better, I am just lifting my color pencil, putting less pressure to um, help them blend together. Okay, so I've done this without using orange at all, but in the middle you can see I have a nice orange color. So I'm gonna move on to my cool colors now, and I'm going to use a dark blue and a light green. Okay, and I might also use a purple as well, just to mix it up. So I'm gonna start with my green and blue. I'm gonna do dashes this way. Also going to do dashes the other color coming down. So just think of different types of marks in a drawing or uh, yeah in a drawing these would create little patches and it could represent the texture of um, something that has been woven, like maybe a bag or... Um, so what with the mark making, what we want to achieve is different types of marks that represent textures. Okay, and then for my uh, colors down here, I am going to go from green. I'm again gonna try and blend my colors. So I'm gonna go from green I'm actually going to work my way diagonally just to challenge myself a little bit. And I want to end with purple. So that means it needs to go from purple to blue and then to the green. Okay, so I'm just going to use the blue in the middle. I'm going to blend that in to the purple. The same up here. Blend it in to the green. So you'll notice that the green, if you do use these colors, is quite light, like the yellow. So I'm just going to go over that with a bit more pressure to try and blend it in a bit better. 
take your time with this. Remember, as long as you have five boxes by the end of the lesson, that is fine. So don't rush. Take your time to blend your colors. Remember, you can use the side of your pencil, same way that you would um, shade as well with the normal pencil. And there you're showing good understanding of color theory, your warm and your cool colors, but also mark making techniques and blending techniques. Okay, you can come up with different, uh, other different mark making techniques. For example, uh, you could do, oh, I just did the cool colors on there. Make sure you stick to warm colors on one side. Uh, you could do like C-shaped hoops. Do lots and lots of them to create texture or the look of texture rather. Okay, and you would do that in your whole box. You could also do, um, I'll use a pink. You could do this kind of mark. It looks like a scribble. This type of mark could be used to um, create the illusion of curly hair. Um, just thinking of what these different types of marks that I'm creating would actually, how would they be used in a drawing? Okay, and remember you can mix your different colors within that. So I might go over that with purple, but it's important that you stick with warm colors on one side and cool colors on the other side. Good luck guys.